it's November 1st. And I can't get my head around it. It's now November. I don't know what's happening. I feel like the days are long and the years are short. <laughs> this day today already feels like a year, and then when I realise it's November 1st, I'm like, whoa, surely it's August. <laughs> Is anyone else feeling that? Do you get that feeling? Yeah. I don't know where we stand here. Can I start playing Christmas music now? No. No? No. Why? Wait till after Thanksgiving. Not till after Thanksgiving. Please. Why? Please. You hate Halloween. Yes. You hate Halloween. Yeah. A lot of people feel the same way about Christmas. Let's put it that way. About Christmas or yeah. Christmas music? Well, the music and all of the ephemera, all of the just, just shoving it down our throats and eyes and ears. When you say everywhere. people, it feels I mean, like you might be talking about you. <laughs> Uh, you're right. I, I actually, my, my blood pressure just went way up when I started. Did it thinking really? It. Yeah, actually, at it's a little force, much, right? People? Chris, no. Yes. I, no. Yes. Hang on. Yes. Agree. What, Agree right. with e him. Everybody, pipe so down. It's a war on Christmas right now. <laughs> I'm starting it here. Still, give us a break with the Christmas music. You give you a break with the Christmas yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. Just give it a breather, for God's yeah. sake. <laughs> it's the worst genre of music. <laughs> In existence. I disagree. I disagree. It is. It, I disagree. Well, I, yeah, I, of course you do. Oh, but you like, you're, you like it's all right. Christmas. Oh, no, stop. It's stop. all right. Stop. You love it. I don't not like you. You're like, you just go eight <laughs> for it. It's a lovely time. I am also all in on Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving's amazing. I think Thanksgiving is a brilliant time because it's all of the good bits of Christmas without, like, you know, the, the sort of the corporate... Music. Corporate overlord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right. Without the music. Tell you what, keep going. Keep going. OK. Keep going, and I won't just remove Christmas music, I'll remove music from this show. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? How's that? Let's... Well, hang on, let's do this. Let's do this, and this will be now the barometer for America. So, we'll do this by... Um, round of applause, right? So, like a sort of a... I'll be the... This, this is yes, this is no, and the more noise, we'll take it there and we'll see who wins. So, who says no Christmas music until after Thanksgiving? Go. <laughs> OK. And who says... Christmas music right now. Let's do it. Let's all have a great time. Mm. Oh. Wow. Oh, think... Split, split the vote. <laughs> that was like Trump Biden all over again. <laughs> really. I just we need like Kornacki to come in and look at what parts of the room have. Well, it's that time. It's time for the news. And today, President Biden arrived in Glasgow, Scotland, for the United Nations Climate Change Conference. Here's the president posing with Boris Johnson and the Secretary General of the United Nations. Look at that. They look like a band from the 60s who are finally getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Drummer and the bass player haven't spoken in 10 years. I'm going to play four more shows of that sort of old version of Coachella. <laughs> the conference is called COP26 because it's the 26th time world leaders have met to try to limit global warming, but like they say, 26 times a charm. <laughs> COP26. COP26 sounds like what my mum would call a die-hard movie. <laughs> she, you know, the, you know, the guy from Moonlighting. You do know! You do know the guy from Moonlighting, and he's, he's um... He's, he's in the one with, uh, He's in the film with the one with, uh, John Travolta's The Talking Baby, that one. <laughs> COP26, that's it. China and Russia won't be attending the conference, so it's a little bit like trying to film a Fast and Furious movie without Vin Diesel or Ludacris. <laughs> Things got off to a rocky start this morning for the president. During the conference's opening speeches, it looked like Biden started dozing off. Work it out for yourself. You, 
You just know, you know that staffer was sent in with absolutely zero information on his phone. <laughs> and just get in, get in there and wake him up. Or what am I going to say? I don't know, Carl. You work it out. <laughs> In Biden's defense, he is conserving energy, and that is what the conference is all about. <laughs> Although I, I'm jealous of that sleep, though. That sleep is the best sleep on earth. <laughs> you know the sleep, the lights couldn't be brighter, you're in a room full of people, it doesn't matter, you're just slowly sliding into a hot tub full of butterscotch, <laughs> like. <laughs> yes. It's the dream, isn't it? It's the dream. So when you were, the, you know, the movie's on, but you've already seen it, and you just... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh, just dreaming of a, of a future where we no longer rely on fossil fuels. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's doing. In Glasgow, one group of climate activists dressed up as world leaders playing in a traditional Scottish bagpipe band. They called themselves the COP26 Hot Air Band. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the COP26 hot air band is not only against climate change, they're also opposed to rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was that? Keith, you know that guy who makes big heads, don't you? <laughs> I haven't spoken to him in a while, but I can text him. Yeah, get some big heads. <laughs> Let's do bagpipes. Well, we can't play the bagpipes, doesn't matter. We'll cover it with the drums. <laughs> I tell you what, I know it's not the point they're trying to make, but they've got, they've got phenomenal legs. Look at that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow, indeed, madam. <laughs> and this is an interesting study. Researchers from the University of Bath in the United Kingdom say that, contrary to previous studies, human beings may be naturally pessimistic. Yeah, as a pessimist, however, I know that these findings are probably too good to be true. <laughs> Researchers used to think that people were naturally optimistic. Now they think people are naturally pessimistic. No. Hmm. I wonder what kind of recent world events could have caused that change. <laughs> and finally, did everybody see this? A couple is making headlines because they celebrated their wedding at what many consider to be the world's most beautiful Taco Bell. Here's the Taco Bell here, which is located in the Bay Area. Look at that, stunning. And here's the happy couple. Yeah. Uh, instead of a flower girl, they just had someone walking down the aisle just sprinkling handfuls of ground beef. <laughs> Celebrating your wedding at a Taco Bell. How does that work? I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now live mass. <laughs> I like the idea of an important celebration. I think all important celebrations should happen at fast food restaurants. I do. Ian, I think this opens the door for your kids to have an Arb Mitzvah. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody.